What's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarander. And uh, yeah, today we're going up against a guy named MightyEna FT, uh, known on Twitter as I think Mega Mighty Anna. Uh gonna leave him down low nonetheless. And um, yeah, this was during the time I was testing this RE team basically. And I think this was the third game, and it came pretty darn close. My Pokemon is using new Pokemon and uh, Besides that, it has a lot of new Pokemon. I'll say even that the recipe seems actually a new. So, uh, considering the not given substance, um, it's gonna be a different, a different game because this is definitely not the Pokes that I have been uh, well testing it on or you know even count for. So it's gonna be very interesting. And through and through here we got uh, Swoobat, Mighty, and of course Eagleith, Primate, Mantine, and Trevenant. Now I know that Stickweb must come up in this team, and Mantine could be a potential defogger. And uh, that's obviously bad because I really want the sick web up to you know keep the pressure up really, and uh, I really need to start off with Levani. And besides that, I really hope my trap can come through here. Uh, Mighty Yana is not that big of a threat. Prevalent can be hard to deal with uh, depending on the set. I really, really don't like the stall set, and I have a rough time against them because I really need to hit that thing hard twice often. Uh, but besides that, um, yeah, I just really gonna go with guns blazing. I hope that I kill something fast and uh, really just see what my opponent is all about. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. From the get go here, I really, really thought that you know it seems quite obvious that he wanna leave with something like Gigalith. So I was kind of in the second move for Levani because you now if he wanted to set up the self rocks and a defog on Mantine, definitely he's going to will himself down because he really needs rocks against me. And he's actually going to start with Trevenant. Like I said, I did not really see that one coming. Now he does decide to switch out, which I thought was kind of weird. But at the same time, uh, Mantine is really, or rather, definitely walling uh, my Eleven is really bad. And um, I did not see him coming for anything like Substitute or definitely breaking Air Slash or anything like that. So I decided to switch out and go into my Electros, basically to take that Air Slash. But he has Defog. And uh, that's actually kind of cool, i never really seen a set like that, and uh, now I know for sure that he's probably not going to have Defog on his team, so that's kind of good, but he does have the Tailwind. Now, Tailwind double the speeds for 4 turns of every poke that has his team. Now, he doesn't have the fastest of teams, but at the same time, that is kind of an issue, and this is something that I really need to deal with properly, and you hope for, um, well, basically, I need to kind of wall him out for 4 turns, so he just ends up speed up my pokes. I can't really risk this Mantine doing a stuff, stunt like that again. Late game, Tailwind can really be quite dangerous to deal with, like Trick Room really. So he's gonna go back as to this Revenant, which, um, yeah, I guess that kinda works. I was really banking on something else, and so I go for Bolt Switch, seeing that it's possible very likely that it would switch out, and at the same time, um, my I should be able to deal with most of his things on his team, really. So I gotta go into Panzer the Drapion, and, um, He's gonna go for Protect, which shows me, of course, that this is definitely the Harvest set. And I'm gonna show him the Night Slash, which makes him, well, obviously a bit uncomfortable staying in, and I was obviously banking for a crit as always. Uh, so he's gonna go to his Gigalith, and um, Gigalith is, um, depending on the set, could be tough to deal with. So the Night Slash, of course, does not score a crit, and that is one defensive Gigalith. So just go for EQ because a, a critical nice slash would kill it anyway. And um, yeah, he's gonna set up his rocks. That's it. So like I said, it's very defensive, very heavily defensive with a lot of HP. So that definitely means that uh, it's not a ori physically oriented one. So he's gonna go to his uh, Waka Flaka or his Swooboot, uh, Swoobat. And uh, he's actually gonna go with Charm on me, which I was actually completely fine with this because I knew that a crit nice slash will definitely take it out. Uh, even after one Night Slash, I do, after one Charm, almost enough to kill it. So I felt comfortable staying in and just keep going at it. Um, very interesting set, really. Swoobot is usually just a um, very, very, like, sweeperish build, but seeing something like this was very, very interesting. This crit does eventually come through, which is, of course, awesome, but at the same time, my Drapion is now, of course, without any attack whatsoever. And I can't really, against a Pokemon like Eagleith, rely on a move like um, Night Slash to kill it, because I can't. So I'm gonna predict him to go for an EQ and go into Grindel. He definitely saw one coming and went for a Stone Edge. And he's gonna land that. 
and uh, yeah, that is very close of killing me. Now, I do successfully retaliate with Giga Rain and get some HP back, but at the same time, there was a very high price to pay for that switch in, since my Electros is not defensively whatsoever. Um, so his next Pokemon, of course, is a Death Tree, and basically here, I was really hoping that this was defensively built. I am heavily, heavily invested in Special Attack, so I'm gonna go for a Flamethrower, and it does around half, I mean, it doesn't do all the way. And that shows me that this is a special defensive one, and that my Electros probably can do a whole lot. And actually think about it, it makes sense to have a special defensive one if you use moves like will o Whisperly. So, um, yeah, this was bad, this was really bad. And I have really enough to show for it, so I decided that in case he goes for Protect, I can go for my Medicham and... Uh, well, basically try to hurt it as much as I can. Like I said, uh, the reason I didn't go for a false speed was because I was predicting him to go for a protect. Now, he just stayed in and, uh, or just go for a horror leash, he said. That's kind of bad and won't lie about that. Uh, so, I do first, we're going to show him the um, Ice Punch, which is more than plenty to take out Trevenant for an uninvested defensive one. Uh, but uh, I decided to switch moves here because I was really thinking he's going to switch out. Sin Headbutt almost takes it out. Almost. It's really close and. Really here, I should definitely stick to my gun. It was kind of bad doing a move like that, considered given circumstance, and I will get a whispered because of that, which, you know, render my Klima sword, well, not useless, but pretty close to, and I had no reason to switch out here. I just had to keep going, since I was really banking him to overpredict one more time. The Citrus is super, super annoying, and I'm really, really in a bad place right now. And he's going for another predict, and... Um, that's bad, that I really, really have a tough time against this Trevenant. And uh, I was not predicting him to switch out here, I really wasn't. He's gonna go to his Mighty Enna. I kept going for Ice Punch, which probably was something I should have kept going with, consider the position I just put myself in with Medicham being wheeled down. Um, it should not be used like this, and at this time it definitely kills it really, really early on. And the Mighty Enna is now in a very, very fine position, and um, of course with Burn it will take me out. Now, something that I should have taken notice that I didn't do from the get-go was that I saw no intimidation, I saw no, no running or quick feet. This is definitely a Moxie one and I did not call upon it. And I decided to go for Dragon Dance, which was something I really didn't need to do because I will outspeed everything on his team after Stick Web. And that kind of just uh, slept my mind. I was really far, thought I was going to force him out. But this thing, of course, packs the move like Play Rough and Ice Fang. And that did way way more than I thought it would. I'm not defensive whatsoever, but I really thought it would take that better. And I basically let him get a Moxie boost here, which is awful, because I went from a position where I had a lot of momentum to lose in Medisham and Trantrum basically in a few turns, which is of course my sweepers for the teams, and now I am really, really pushed to the edge. So anyway, he's gonna switch out there, not being let pre on. Is um, his matchup really, and I get that. And so I go for a cross poison. Now, first hit here does around 50%. It is definitely not enough that's gonna kill that leftovers. But I really need to bang on this crit. I can't let him get up to Tailwind. I just I can't do it. So I go for the second cross poison, and yes, finally, finally it works. Kicks in when it needs to, and this was definitely a very, very needed moment. So now I'm gonna go to his Balboa or the Prime Ape, and uh, I couldn't really switch out there, I couldn't really predict him, go for close combat and go into my Contamil or my Leveny. So I'm basically gonna hope for a crit um, cross poison because that will actually take him out. But Sally, I don't get it, and a close combat is more than plenty to take out the Drapion, which heaven believe that this thing it could be Scarf, but I think it's actually it's banded even with the Defiant boost. Or actually Defiant raises two stages, my bad. It's definitely more than plenty. So anyway, I'm gonna go to my Contamilo and Leveny and basically go for Leaf Storm, hoping that whatever comes in can take it. Of course, the Trevenant is gonna come into that, and uh, like I said before, judging by the previous damage, I knew that this thing is specially defensive, so I can definitely rely on my ex sister to take it out afterwards. And I have uh, it is a mixed set because it really forces people to stay in and not suspecting yeah, the either or the other, really, and ex sister is more than plenty, like I said, to take it out, which is... Well, important, if anything, and now we only got his Paul Boa left, and um, uh, Mighty Yena, which is in a kind of a position of taking me out, so 
I decided here to sack off my Electros because I don't really want to give the Mighty Yenna more fuel than I already got with the Sucker Punch and whatnot. And after this, decide to actually go to the Claw Lister, hoping that the Claw Lister is enough to uh, take whatever moves he goes for, which is of course the Ice Punch, sadly. And the Ice Punch, while it is resisted, it's uh, still, like I said, he still have the Defiant Poofs, so he's still gonna hurt quite a lot. So I'm basically gonna bank that after the Ice Punch damage that I will be in a position that I actually can take a Sucker Punch. So anyway, I'm gonna go for Skull to finish that off. Like I said, the last Pokemon we got is the Mighty Yenna. And um, I can't switch into Lebanese because the self Rock will put in a better bad range and I'm not defensive whatsoever. So Jason, the Mighty Yenna is gonna come here and uh, I'm gonna say it like this. Luckily for me, I guess we don't really find out whether or not I can take a Sucker Punch or not. Uh, he's actually gonna stay in going for a Crunch or anything else besides that, hoping that I would switch out. But like I said, I didn't really want to risk that and uh, yeah, it worked in my favor and I win barely. I did a lot of weird plays this battle and it I paid dearly for that, but I came through eventually. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this game and also to Mighty and I really uh, thank you so much for this battle. It came, like I said, really darn close and uh, I think the, the move I did with the Tarantrum going for Dragon Dance instead of you know going for the offensive move really put me in a range where I should not have been at. I mean, Tarantrum was definitely able to outspeed the rest of the teams, or the rest of the Pokemon that's on your team, and I should just gone with, you know, sweeping there and then, but I don't know what's left my mind. I really thought you would switch out, and you did an incredible good play in staying in and kept going, and uh, I can't even be mad about that. Very good game, man. Very good game. And uh, for everybody else, I want to really thank you for watching as always. Of course, make sure to leave a like if you like this battle, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky's limit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.